Welcome to episode five of the best Nova Launcher setups, the series where I feature the best home screen setups sent in to me from you guys. If you wanna know how to enter your own setup, I will link the submission video in the description below, so make sure you check that out for all the rules and requirements for getting your setup featured in one of these episodes. For today's series of setups, I've listened to the voices who are a little tired of ultra minimal home screen setups, of which I've obviously featured several, and so today's setups will be a good combination of super functional whilst also looking visually appealing. So in no particular order, today's five Nova Launcher setups come from Manus, Rahul, Romy, Tom, and Surya. And apologies if I've butchered any of your names, but as you can hopefully see, each of these setups are unique and eye-catching. And what you're about to find out is that each of them also have hid some really useful functionality under the hood as well. As always, all the required elements to get started with each setup, including the Nova Launcher backup files, will be listed in the description below. So make sure to check those out if you wanna load any of these setups onto your own phones. But let's get the video underway with Surya's setup. So on first impressions, there's no doubt lots of elements to talk about with this setup, but even though he's incorporated a lot into his home screen, there's still just something really eye-catching about it and it's been done in a way that makes sense. So firstly, it's a two-page setup and that wallpaper comes from the Walls application and it's another one of those great wallpapers that gives you something visually interesting to look at, that guy sitting at his computer being the example here, with plenty of blank space around the edges to put pretty much anything you so desire, which Surya has definitely taken advantage of. Up the top we have a Google search bar widget which comes from the flat material widget pack for Zuper Widget Pro. Below that we have a clock widget, again taken from the flat material widget pack and this one has been edited fairly heavily using the clock material 2 widget as the basis. Skipping below our computer man there, we have a row of toggle widgets, which have been created using the Unic widget pack, which again has been customized to suit his style and gives him access to a lot of different application shortcuts and settings toggles. Below that is another widget from Unic, and this one I'm a big fan of. So it triggers a bunch of different apps, yet keeps it all in this really sleek material design-esque panel, and it performs fairly flawlessly, which is really nice to see. And finally, below that we have a row of seven application icons, all of which are using the Wicons icon pack. On the right edge of this home screen, we have a vertical calendar widget, which is actually made directly within Zuper Widget Pro. Now, even though there's heaps on this single home screen, it somehow still looks completely manageable. And even though I personally don't think I would use everything on this screen, I still appreciate the effort it would have taken to achieve this sort of a setup. Really quickly on the second page, we have a solar system widget, which comes from the space widget pack. Down below, we have a battery, RAM and memory widget from the flat material widget pack. And the information boxes in the middle both come from the flat material widget pack as well, all of which have been tweaked a bit, resulting in the look we have here. And finally, the clock widget you see there comes from the One Way Zoopers widget pack and the date widget below that comes from the minimal UI pack. And so again, definitely a lot going on with this setup and somehow it still looks really eye-catching. So hats off to you, my friend. Great setup to get the episode underway. Next up, we have Romy's two-page setup. And I really love the look of this sort of 8-bit style design. You've got your Google search bar and icons all in that style, which I think looks great. That snowy winter log cabin wallpaper comes from the frame wallpapers application. And even though there's lots of detail in the middle portion of the image, that white snowy bottom half and dark night sky top half once again give you space to put your icons and widgets which you've utilized to good effect here. Up the top we have a date and time widget which comes from the Oshia Zuper widget pack. And beneath that the Google search bar widget is also from the Oshia Zuper pack. Those 8-bit icons come from the PixBit icon pack, and you've got a row of five up the top, followed by a dock of three icons below, the middle one being your app launcher. A really cool extra layer of functionality Romy has included here is that when you swipe up on both the Instagram and YouTube icons in the dock, both trigger application folders, opening up social media apps and Google apps respectively, so that is very slick. To the secondary page, and as you can see, we have the ever popular month calendar widget, which is really nice. But aside from that, that's it for this really cool, unique setup. After that, we have Tom's single page setup, which is super clean, but with a healthy dose of functionality included as well. That wallpaper is a really clean image of Yosemite, which can be found once again in the frame wallpaper application if you just search for Yosemite. And again, super nice contrast from the minimal blue sky to the mountain and the dark trees below, which just gives this setup some really nice structure. 
Up the top, we have a simple Google search bar widget, which is actually using one of the pre-made Nova Launcher Google search bars, which definitely makes things nice and easy. And then coming below that, we have this weather widget, which has been created using the weather timeline application. Below that, we've got some music controls, which are provided by the Black Player Music Player app. So obviously this is the sort of setup that would be ideal for those of us who listen to music on a regular basis. Below that on either side, we have two widgets. The one on the left is a battery percentage indicator, which is self-made using Zuper Widget Pro. And on the right, is a clock widget from the Oshia for Zupa widget pack. You could then take each a stage further by creating these to be shortcuts to both the battery settings and also your clock application. Smack bang in the middle of those two widgets is a two by two set of application icons, including the app drawer, each of which are using the Simpax icon pack, which is my personal favorite and what I use in my current daily setup. Clean setup and I am a fan. Following that, we have a red and black home screen setup made by Manas, which is a single page setup, and I really dig what he's got going on here. So that red and black wallpaper has been taken from the Dark Ops wallpaper application. And even though that reindeer looks like it's part of the wallpaper, it's actually an edited widget from the Oshia for Zupa widget pack. But I definitely think that it looks amazing. Up the top, we have a date and time widget, which is a tweaked widget taken from the minimal UI pack. And then coming down below that, we have two rows of application icons. The top row of four apps is using the Lions Free icon pack, and that rounded rectangle around those apps is again another self-made widget, which looks great. And yes, those red dots are in fact application folders, which have been made using the CandyCons icon pack. So not only great functionality, but also super unique and just a really appealing design as well. Coming to the row of four apps below that, these are all using the Min icon pack, and they have been placed inside a Google search bar widget, which has also been created using the Oshia for Zupa widget pack. Even though this setup looks very visually appealing and even somewhat minimal, there is so much functionality baked in and lots of impressive uses of widgets, so thumbs up from me. And finally, we have a really clean single page setup from Rahul. That awesome looking wallpaper is from the Backdrops application and I really, really like this wallpaper. I think it adds just the right amount of color without making it too overwhelming. So props from me on that selection. The Google search bar widget right up the top here has been made using the Oshia for Zupa widget pack and the time, date and day widget below is actually self-made in Zupa widget pro. I really like how this space has been used up here, no pun intended. Uh, it just screams minimalism and looks ultra clean. Below that, we have a three by three set of nine app shortcuts, each of which are using the Delta icon pack. And then below that is a battery bar, which is also self-made using a progress bar template within Zupa Widget Pro. In saying that, I will link my own version if you'd like to save yourself from having to set it up manually. And that's literally it for this setup. Rahul told me that he is new to this whole setup thing. And I think it really goes to show that it doesn't require a massive amount of bells and whistles to have a unique but stylish home screen. So I really wanted to include this setup to show you that making home screens isn't super overwhelming if you're new to the game. It literally just requires experimenting and trial and error. Aside from that, that is it for episode five of the best Nova Launcher setups. Thanks to everyone for their great submissions and don't forget to check out the video on screen now or below to find out how to go about sending your own setups in. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any new episodes or other content. But thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you later.